We drafted a bill uh, that we got filed in the legislature this last session that would have banned the the production of non-food uh, uh, substances in food crops. And the argument was, is regardless of what you think about whether or not we should be ge genetically engineering uh, food crops to enhance them or to protect the crop, that it's a bad idea to produce other substances that are not intended to be eaten, like drugs, chemicals, in food crops, because it's inevitable that the gene is going to transfer to other food crops. I mean, we've seen that instance with corn, where we had corn that was designed to produce a pesticide to protect the corn, uh, contaminated other corn crops. And right now, all of the corn, for the most part, has some contamination with genetically engineered corn. Well, that corn was designed to actually be consumed, so the risk to us is maybe not that great. I mean, other people may differ as to what the risk was, but for the most part, it's not that great of a risk. But if you're engineering corn to produce a drug or engineering corn to produce a chemical, and you contaminate the regular food supply with it, that's huge. You've totally destroyed that food and possibly endangered the public. So that was the goal of the bill, was to prohibit this practice. And this is an instance where people get it. Uh, largely, I think the public is very confused about genetic engineering. Um, they're not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. They're a little nervous. I think, by and large, most people want food labeled uh, that if it's genetically engineered, they should know it and then they could make the choice as to whether they want to consume it or not. Uh, and the industry, of course, is totally against that. I mean, their feeling is, is gosh, if people knew what this was, they wouldn't eat it. Duh. <laughs> but, um, but when you tell them that they're, that they're genetically engineering regular food crops to produce other substances, people go, that's just ludicrous. You know, what if that got out into the regular food supply? You know, my kids could have, you know, a spermicide in their Cheerios. That's not good by accident. And we know that um, quality control in these areas is not perfect.